The Three Most Crucial Goals for Leaders If you're going to be an effective leader, then it is crucial to know what it is you want to achieve. Ultimately, the job of a leader is to help a team to accomplish a specific task in the shortest time possible. And in order to do that, you need to decide what that task you're going to accomplish is. With that in mind, keep listening, and we'll discuss how to find what the most crucial goals for any leader should be. 1. To reach set objectives. The first goal that you should have as a leader is to reach a set objective. In other words, you need to create a measurable target for yourself and for your team that you can work toward. And once you have done that, you'll be able to start plotting the most efficient course possible. This might be to increase your profits, it might be to grow your customer base, or it might be to turn over more stock. Whatever the case, you can then measure your effectiveness as a leader by how well you are moving toward those goals. 2. To keep your team happy and safe. Another crucial goal for any leader should be to look after their team. Whether you are a manager, a parent, a scouts leader, being in charge means taking responsibility. Not only are you taking responsibility for getting the tasks completed, though, you're also responsible for the well-being of those under you. Your job is to provide a safe and comfortable working environment where they can feel happy and therefore work their best. If something happens to them under your care, that's on you. 3. To grow and develop the team. A good leader is not someone who simply keeps the ship afloat, though. A good leader should also have their eye on the bigger picture and know how they want to grow and develop their team, both on an individual basis and on the basis of the team as a whole. This might mean investing a little time and money in R&D so that you can develop new ideas and take your organization to new heights. It might mean thinking as a parent about how you can take your family to the next rung on the property ladder. Or it might be providing staff with career progression opportunities so that they too can get that satisfactory feeling of moving forward. Four Powerful Ways to Motivate Your Team One of your jobs as a leader is to make sure that those under you stay motivated and on task. You need to help light the fire and the passion beneath them in order to get them to work harder and faster and to deliver their best. In this presentation, we'll discuss four powerful ways you can do that. 1. Give them autonomy and authorship. One of the very best ways to motivate any member of the staff is to give them some kind of ownership over their own project. This should be something that gives them creative license to complete the work as they see fit, but it should also have their name attached to it so that they can proudly claim what they have done as their own. This makes an important cognitive shift and is very different from being a nameless cog in a machine. Help your team to feel proud of the work they're doing. 2. Show your passion. If you are someone who leads from above, but is constantly complaining and undermining the work you have to do, then you're going to lose the enthusiasm of your team fast. Instead, you need to make sure that you are passionate about what you are doing and that you truly care, and you need to find ways to communicate that fact to your team. Passion and enthusiasm are highly contagious. Once you get the bug, it will spread. 3. Explain the why. Stop telling your team what to do and start telling them why. When you tell someone why they need to do something, it helps them to understand what the end result needs to be. Not only does this help them to work more flexibly to achieve the results that you're looking for, but it also gives them more motivation because they understand why what they're doing matters. 4. Help them develop. Finally, try to think about how the work you assign to different members of your team will help them to accomplish their goals and progress. Every project or task should be a learning opportunity 
which can ultimately help with career progression. Try to demonstrate this, or find ways to make the work worthwhile for the individual completing it, and not just the broader organization. The key is not to motivate with outside promises of reward or punishment, then. Instead, use these four powerful methods to try to encourage intrinsic motivation in your team. How to be an influential thought leader in your industry. When you think of a leader, you might think of a manager or perhaps some kind of political leader. Maybe your mind goes to military generals or tyrants from history. The word leader can mean many things, though. And in fact, it doesn't even have to mean that you are giving orders to anyone. A leader is simply someone who is ahead of the pack and who guides the way for everyone else, just like you might have a leader pulling ahead in a race. You might not be a manager, a tyrant, or even a parent then, but you can still be a thought leader and help guide the way for others. If you are a blogger or an entrepreneur, then this is a powerful aim to have, as it will allow you to influence the hearts and minds of the general public, potentially selling more products and helping to create trends. It's also possible for an entire business to be a thought leader in this way. So how does one become a thought leader? How do you become the influencer that everyone is listening to? The answer lies in what we've already said. You need to lead the way. That means you need to either be the best or you need to be original. Let's imagine that you have a health blog, for instance. If you make a health blog that is just like every other health blog on the web and that has all the exact same articles and posts, then there's no way that you're going to be considered a thought leader. You're simply copying a tried and tested formula. In this case, you are a thought follower. But if you come up with your own